I'll let my partner go first. <laughs> okay, so yeah, super happy to have you here, Dave. I think uh, we are all through COVID now yeah. um, and you were able to make the trip here to Germany. So I appreciate that a lot uh, to discuss next steps. Um, but uh, what have we achieved so far? I think it's a lot, right? Yes. We had a lot of trouble, a lot of demos not being able to take place physically. But nevertheless, I think we have achieved a lot. We implemented our um, hardware together with your software. We got that flying, presented that to a lot of customers. There are hiccups, definitely. Hardware right. is hard. Um, but uh, from what I can say on the last 18 months, it has been a, a riot and we yep. have lots of plans to come. Yeah. Well, first, I'm pleased to be here um, with, uh, and to see this new building, which I didn't get to see before when I came the last time because of pre-COVID. Um, you know, we started this partnership uh, because we thought we had two best-in-breed things to bring together. That is a great platform in Vector Scorpion, and what we think is a great ecosystem in our software. Um, so we thought it was a great way to bring those things together and bring this capability to the United States, uh, to our defense and security customers. And that's really where it started. Uh, Florian and I have known each other for a few years, and we got to re-engage when I joined Atiri in, uh, in uh, 2019. Um, and I had come to, from Air Environment at that time. Um, and it's been a great ride. Uh, you're right, COVID put a little bit of a damper in, in things because the government could not do demos. Um, but we've kind of turned that around. This spring, we did a, a bunch of demos and we got a lot of interest in Vector. There's a lot of buzz in the United States about this capability. Hybrid VTOLs are the way to go. Um, in the future. They are really what the government, our government in the United States wants. Um, and they want the endurance out of this platform, they want the sensor capability out of this platform, and then in the future they want us to add artificial intelligence and other things to the platform. So I'm totally psyched about the partnership. Sure, it actually started out as the Group 1 architecture back in 2017, 2018 timeframe. And Atarian actually got a contract to build the software for the ground control system for Blue UAS. They also awarded five contracts to companies to build very small quadcopters. What they were trying to do at the time is replace the Mavic uh, because it was Chinese made and they wanted to have the industrial base in the US um, to build that for the Department of Defense. Um, since then, it's really branched out into AI, into data links, into ground control stations. Um, and what we're doing is bringing a new capability far beyond the, the original five contractors into this architecture. And what they're really trying to do, one is uh, have systems that are U US uh, made in the end analysis, um, but also they really wanna get away from what's called vendor lock. And vendor lock is when uh, the software is not open, it's proprietary, um, and they, the government customers don't like that. And that's really what Blue UAS architecture is all about, having common standards, common interfaces, uh, common software, uh, so they don't have to do it again and again and again. Yeah, and I think we picked up on that very early, Claudia, because um, Quantum was set up um, to be a vendor lock-in company, doing our own hardware, doing our own software, flight planning, flight control, all of that. We have that IP, we have that capability, but nevertheless, when I met Lawrence, the founder of Arterian, of that open ecosystem, it was totally clear to me that that is the way to go, that uh, we cannot do all of the stuff here ourselves. I mean, we could, but it would require a tremendous effort, a lot of persons involved and, and the easier and faster way to progress and, 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 and win contracts is jump onto the blue arch architecture, not give up on, on some of what we do, yeah. but bring it into the blue ecosystem, right? Yeah. Enhance the blue architecture stack with our engineering capability. We have started on that track. Um, and I think uh, at the given point in time, a few weeks to come, we will even further strengthen our relationship together um, because we are actually planning. And so that's a little, um, a little secret, uh, uh, like a spoiler here. We will definitely uh, follow down that road. We will intensify that partnership. We will uh, have more of our engineers contribute to the blue stack. 
to make it more powerful um, and um, yeah, that way focus on what we can best, build the best, yeah. best platforms here in Germany, build the best uh, hardware ecosystem, but uh, have you US guys work on AI features together with us, work on Arterian Mission Control, on making that cloud capable mm -hmm. and, and bring that to the warfighter. So yeah. I think that's where the whole thing has to go yeah. um, and I think we are on track here. Yeah. And it actually helps that I like Florian. Uh, we get along very well, and I think the two companies get along very well. And in the future, we want to have engineers from Quantum uh, come to the US and have an interchange there, and vice versa, engineers come here. And I think that makes for a, a good partnership. Exactly. Yeah, so Dave is also here for the, for the summer event <laughs> of Quantum, which we will have tomorrow. So there's a lake party. Maybe, maybe we can uh, put some of that outtakes into that video. Let's yeah. see how that goes. Um, yeah, so a lot of things to come. Uh, stay tuned, I would say, uh, with us. Uh, watch the Arterian channel, watch the Quantum channel. Yes. And um, in the future, there's a lot of exciting stuff uh, happening here in Germany. And I'm super excited to spend part of my life in the US in the future. Yeah.